Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick is just going to become the top testing framework for JavaScript so let's get into it well I would say that that it pretty much has if you ask me uh, well that's not a whole truth that's let me explain so the uh, I will say that on the market right now, when it comes to unit testing in JavaScript land, there are only really three contenders for the top framework for doing unit testing. And those would be Mocha, Jest, and uh, Jasmine, or Karma more specifically. Karma with, uh, usually with Jasmine, as is a very popular choice for Angular development. So why would I say that Jest is the top one like i'm i know i can mean don't get me wrong just let me explain so the reason why i'm stating that is because as of right now mocha is arguably one of if not the most popular one and that basically comes down to just being a well i'm not saying a uh, being a little bit it took it longer to get into the circulation and the thing about it is that like, I used to use Mocha as well, just as most people who are using, uh, I mean, even people who do React development use Mo Mocha. It's uh, very common that Karma and Jasmine is associated with Angular, while Mocha is associated with pretty much anything. But the thing about Mocha is that it has a few limitations that I think is, I mean, I don't have... Uh, I don't have the exact numbers right now, but I would be surprised if Jest isn't gaining popularity fairly quickly. Because the thing about Jest that it offers, which is, well, it's a very significant thing. And that is that it offers the exact amount, the, the exact right amount of convenience. Now, what I mean by that is that you've heard me say in many videos before that the worst thing about, like, there are it's a dangerous thing when you have wrapper technology and you have these tools that abstract away too much. It's about finding that sweet spot between empowerment and and uh, convenience, basically. And I think, that, honestly, this is my personal opinion, of course, but I think that Jess actually has has that in the unit testing world. You see, the thing about Mocha is that it's very bare bones. It's very, I mean, it's very fast. The 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 speed of Mocha is fairly unrivaled at this point, but there are a few things that make that like, that kind of. There's a reason behind that, but that's a different discussion. The thing about about it though is that because it's so bare bones, you very quickly realize that you only really have access to the well the bare bone necessities of just run and like basically writing a unit test. But doing most other things like assertions and stuff of this nature, in order to do that in an effective manner, you very often see people uh, include something like chai or sign on and this sort of stuff into their, su their suite. Like, I mean, immediately just using Mocha usually makes you use at least these three packages. So you have a few external dependencies that you kind of always want. It's very rare that you don't want them, and I can understand. I mean, I understand if they're. I mean, they're, it makes sense to have them, have them as a third party, but this is one of those rare occasions where I think that having them included is a very nice thing, because these three packages are completely independent of each other, pretty much. They don't really have anything to do with the other. In Jest, it's all under one roof, where the maintainers of Jest actually make sure that. You have access to the things that you basically need almost 80 90 percent of the time and they support it at the same time and you get a few other luxuries as well and this is of course yes me is saying that just having having these things is going to make a difference i might not be right about it but i also want to claim that since it's very tightly associated with react and react is pretty much one of the more popular I mean, if not the most popular SBA framework out there right now, I think that that is going to be enough to make it something that be make it a 
a more attractive choice than mocha but mocha is still very much relevant and i think that it's uh, kind of telling in for another thing that i've said in a few videos where i've said that even though something is better quote unquote or so forth just because it provides you with all this extra value it's not that people just migrate from one thing to over to the other just because because migrating it actually costs time and money investment and all that good stuff so i think that that's one of the main reasons why mocha is so i mean mocha is very very embedded and i think it's going to stay that way for a very long time and even if just becomes the most trendy thing i don't see mocha going away anytime soon so what i want to take away from this is that i think that uh, mocha has a very i uh, just has a very good chance of becoming the most popular unit testing framework but for practical reasons i don't see like it, I don't think it's going to be much of a difference in, in general. I think that these three testing frameworks are going to stay around and be fairly equal for quite a long time. Have a great day.